Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my booktube channel. Today we're going to see if I read like Rory Gilmore. I was inspired to do this video by Kira Foster who recently did a 24-hour reading vlog where she tried to read books from the Rory Gilmore reading list and essentially this is a list of every book that was mentioned in the Gilmore Girls show. If you're not familiar with the show definitely go check it out. I highly recommend it follows a mom and a daughter. It's really funny and I just love all the characters and everything about it. So of course I am interested to see how much reading I have in common with these characters. So there is a supposedly a complete reading list on Goodreads. Um, I will try to put the link down below and I am going to go through and um, show which ones I have read, which ones I am planning to read, and which ones I have not read. I'm not sure if I will ever read everything on this list, but I did think this would be fun to do. So let's get started. I'll try to go quickly because I think there's like 300 books on this list. So the first one is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the first Harry Potter book. Yes, I have read this um, a long time ago. I enjoyed it, but at this point, not a big fan of JK Rowling. The second on this list is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which I am currently in the middle of. I am reading this for Kira Foster's um, All About Austin read along and I'm a little bit behind. I should have finished it in September, but you know what? We're getting there and I am enjoying it. And then I am really looking forward to watching the Lizzie Bennet Diaries on YouTube um, and also reading Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. The third book on the list is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the fourth Harry Potter book. Yes, I have read this. To Kill a Mockingbird. Yes, I've read that one. Read that in high school. The Great Gatsby, another one I read in high school and one of my favorite classics. Definitely not my favorite, but one of them. 1984 by George Orwell is one I have not read, but it's been on my list for a long time because of the dystopian aspect of it. I love a good dystopian. Next is Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. I read this in middle school, thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely recommend if you didn't have to read it in school to go pick it up. I think it gives a really interesting perspective on the Holocaust and what was going on at that time, obviously from a very personal perspective. The Bell Jar. I want to read this one. I have heard Ariel Bissett talk about it quite a bit lately on the um, Books Unbound podcast, so I definitely want to pick that one up. The Picture of Dorian Gray. I have not read, but I do want to. Um, I haven't checked off want to read on all of these because I feel like it would just be too much, but yeah, want to read that one. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I actually read last year and I loved it. By far my favorite classic that I have read so far. Definitely read Jane Eyre if you are thinking about getting into classics a bit more. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I have read. I didn't like it at all. I hated that book. <laughs> I read that last year as well. Wuthering Heights I have not read on my list. Little Women I have not read. It is on my list. Fahrenheit 451 I've read multiple times. Highly recommend. It's a dystopian um, about kind of book burning and censorship. The Fellowship of the Ring, the first book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I have not read any of the Lord of the Rings books. I have read The Hobbit. Alice in Wonderland, I have not read. Romeo and Juliet, I read and did not like very much in high school when I was forced to read it, so perhaps that one needs to be revisited with a new mindset. Um, this one I'm not sure how to pronounce. Siddhartha, have not read. Catcher in the Rye, I read for high school. It was okay. Um, what really got me through that was John Green's videos discussing The Catcher in the Rye. Definitely go check those out if you are currently reading or have read really thought-provoking and much better discussion than what was happening in my classes at least. Anna Karenina, 
have not read. The Unabridged Journals of Sylvia Plath have not read. Hamlet also I had to read that in high school. A lot of these were like junior year of high school. I feel like that was the year of most of these classic um, William Shakespeare type things. Letters to a Young Poet have not read. Brave New World have not read. Frankenstein I have not read but I want to read that one. Candide have not read. Sense and Sensibility, I recently read this year, um, also for the All About Austin read-along. Really enjoyed that one. Um, I think I'm liking Pride and Prejudice a little bit more so far, but that might just be because her writing improved a little bit from her first book to her second. A Christmas Carol, I have not read. Um, I would like to, to see where all the adaptations are, you know, getting their inspiration from. Here's another Lord of the Rings book, the third one, have not read. Gone with the Wind, I haven't read, but I did watch the movie in seventh grade. Madame Bovary, I read for a banned books class in college. It was okay, um, a little strange. I definitely listened to the audiobook to get through that one. The Da Vinci Code, which is a sequel, um, I have not read that one. The Time Traveler's Wife I have not read. Northanger Abbey is on my list for this year. Of Mice and Men I read my sophomore year of high school. Swan's Way I have not read. Emma is on my list. Rebecca is also on my list, um, especially since that's my name. I feel like that would be a good one to read during the fall also. Um, but because of the adaptation that came out recently, I wasn't able to get it from the library because so many people were checking it out. So I'm not sure if that has changed at all because it's been out for a little while now. So maybe I can get my hands on it this fall. The Kite Runner I have not read, but I've heard good things about. Crime and Punishment I have not read, Lord of the Flies I read my junior year of high school, had to write a whole essay about the id, the ego, and the super ego. I don't remember doing very well on that essay. Don Quixote I have not read, The Adventures of Huck Finn, another junior year of high school read, 100 Years of Solitude I have not read, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time I have not read. Charlotte's Web was an elementary school read. The Metamorphosis I have not read. The Virgin Suicides I have not read. The second book of the Lord and the Rings series I have not read. Um, the Trial I have not read. A Room of One's Own, nope. Atonement, no. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is definitely one that is on my list. Macbeth was another junior year of high school read. <laughs> The Lovely Bones is on my want to read list. Life of Pi, I have not read. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the first one, I have not read. Slaughterhouse Five, I have not read. Carrie, I did read last year. I really enjoyed it. I've been getting into Stephen King a lot more because of that book. Great Expectations, I haven't read. I don't think I've read anything by Charles Dickens. The Outsiders was a middle school reading requirement. <laughs> On the Road, I have not read. The Shadow of the Wind, I have not read. The Scarlet Letter is on my want to read list because again, I feel like there's a lot of references to that one and I wasn't required to read it in high school. A Tale of Two Cities I haven't read, The Grapes of Wrath I haven't read, Mrs. Dalloway I haven't read, The Raven um, I have not read in full I don't think. I feel like it would have been checked off on here if I had. In Cold Blood I have not read, The Joy Luck Club I have not read, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I haven't read. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, of course I've read that one. If you haven't, go pick up a Dr. Seuss book and read it this year. Beloved, I have not read. The Shining by Stephen King, I read this year. Really enjoyed that one. So far, I think that one is my favorite, although I've only read about three of his books. So don't take my word for it. <laughs> the Gmalion. Have not read. The Count of Monte Cristo. Haven't read. 
Secret Life of Bees haven't read, The House of the Spirits I haven't read, War and Peace, no, A Room with a View, no, Oliver Twist, no, Othello, no, surprisingly, Angela's Ashes, no, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, no, Catch-22, no, Moby Dick, no, Clockwork Orange, no, Middlesex, no, Dead Souls, no, The Godfather, no, High Fidelity, no, Night, nope, The Name of the Rose, nope, Franny and Zoe, nope, The Iliad, I had to read this in high school and then in an ancient and medieval world's history class in college. Heart of Darkness is a no, The Awakening is a no, The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a no, the Sun Also Rises, no. The Art of War, no. Beowulf, no. David Copperfield, no. My Sister's Keeper, no. Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West, I have not read, but I would definitely be interested in picking up. As I Lay Dying, nope. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, nope. Flowers for Algernon, nope. The Canterbury Tales, yes, I read that for the Ancient and Medieval Worlds class. Rosemary's Baby, nope. Waiting for Godot, nope. Nickel and Dimed on Not Getting By in America, nope. Tender is the Night, nope. Julius Caesar, nope. The Master and Margarita, nope. Tuesdays with Maury, nope. Pinocchio, nope. Valley of the Dolls, nope. Stuart Little, I have not read, and I'm really surprised that I didn't. I feel like I had the book as a kid. I know I love the movie and the sequel with the little bird. She was so cute. Girl Interrupted, nope. The Divine Comedy, haven't read. Rapunzel, nope. The Namesake, nope. Christine, nope. On my list. All of Stephen King's books are on my list. Shakespeare's Sonnets, I have not read. The Little Match Girl, I have not read. Please Kill Me, The Uncensored Oral History of Punk, I have not read. The Jungle by Upton Sinclair is one I would definitely be interested in picking up. A Separate Piece, nope. Out of Africa, nope. Walden, I really want to read. I just picked up a... Is it behind me? It is. I just picked up, this is not Thoreau, this is John Muir, but it is um, a bunch of his collected works. And I would love to read more of Thoreau's stuff as well, because I'm a bit of an environmental science nerd. <laughs> the Devil in the White City, nope. Vanity Fair, nope. The Year of Magical Thinking, nope. Me Talk Pretty One Day, nope. Leaves of Grass, no. Daughter of Fortune, no. A Passage to India, no. Reading Lolita in Tehran, a memoir in books, nope. Lady Chatterley's Lover, nope. The God of Small Things, nope. Bel Canto, nope. Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress, nope. The Second Sex, nope. Streetcar Named Desire, nope. The Story of My Life, no. Ulysses, nope. The Five People You Meet in Heaven, no. Uncle Tom's Cabin, nope. An American Tragedy, nope. The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay, nope. The Crucible was one I had to read my sophomore year of high school. I don't remember liking it because I found some of the characters annoying, but that might just be angsty high schooler not wanting to read the book to begin with kind of a situation. Um, it takes place during the Salem Witch Trials, so if you're interested in that, you might like it. It is a play, so I wonder if I would like watching it better than I liked reading it. The Fountainhead, I haven't read. The Red Tent, no. Death of a Salesman, no. Orcs in Crake, I want to read. The Nanny Diaries, nope. Kitchen Confidential Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly, nope. The Portable Dorothy Parker, no. The Complete Stories and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, I think this would be a really interesting one to pick up. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, I haven't read. 
Fight Club I have not read, but definitely want to. Richard III I haven't read. Less Than Zero haven't read. Confederacy of Dunces have not read. Inferno, Dante's Inferno I had to read for that ancient medieval worlds class. Love Story have not read. Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood haven't read. The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Cavalaris County? Nope. Sea Biscuit and American Legend? Nope. The Group? No. Peyton Place? I had to read for banned books. Um, I read a lot of good and not so good books in that class. <laughs> Memoirs of a Dutiful Daughter? No. Howl? No. Gender Trouble? Feminism and the Subversion of Identity is on my want to read list. Eva Luna, no. The Odyssey, read both in high school and in college. <laughs> Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers, um, sounds kind of creepy. Not sure if I would want to read that, maybe I would. Holidays on Ice, nope. The Lottery and Other Stories, no. Empire Falls, no. Cujo, should be on my want to read list. <laughs> Who Moved My Cheese? I read last year during, I think, a Rory Gilmore readathon. Um, that was a super quick kind of read that I feel like um, a lot of people could probably benefit from, to be honest. Demons have not read. Freaky Friday I surprisingly haven't read. Um, I love the movie with Lindsay Lohan in it. I would play that movie on repeat so much and it would annoy my parents a lot growing up. The Naked and the Dead I haven't read, Our Mutual Friend I haven't read, The Comedy of Errors I haven't read, R is for Ricochet I have not read, I didn't realize that was the 18th book in a series, my goodness. Um, the Sound and the Fury, no. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, I would be interested in picking up. The Yearling, I'm scared to pick up. I know it's a sad animal story and I can't handle that. The Code of Woosters, have not read. Notes of a Dirty Old Man, have not read. Daisy Miller, I haven't read. The Miracle Worker, a play, I have not read. Helter Skelter, the true story of the Manson murders, I have not read but would be interested in. Encyclopedia Brown, Boy Detective, I have not read. Everything is Illuminated, no. Nope. The Kitchen Boy, A Novel of the Last Czar, no. Sybil, the classic true story of a woman possessed by 16 personalities, I definitely would be interested in reading. I am really into psychology as well as the environmental stuff, so I think anything kind of exploring that is really interesting. How to Breathe Underwater, no. The Graduate, no. A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius, no. Ella P, a novel in letters, I see what they did there, have not read it. Yoga for Dummies, I could probably use because I, I try to do some yoga and I'm very very bad at it, I'm just not flexible enough yet. New Poems of Emily Dickinson, haven't read. Nervous System or Losing My Mind in Literature, haven't read. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, I haven't read, which is surprising because you would think people would have made me read that as a kid because my name is in it. <laughs> a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, I haven't read. Snow White and Red Rose, I haven't read. Living History, haven't read. The Gnostic Gospels, haven't read. Eloise. I feel like I have read Eloise as a kid, but it's not checked off on Goodreads. I must have read Eloise as a kid. I love the movie. Or I might have read like Eloise at Christmas time instead of just Eloise. <laughs> Anyways. Songbook? No. S is for Silence? No. Little Dorrit? No. Pushkin? A Biography? No. Razor's Edge, no. The Holy Barbarians, no. I'm with the Band, Confessions of a Groupie, no. When the Emperor was Divine, no. This is like a collection of novels by Don Powell, haven't read. The Opposite of Fate, Memoirs of a Writing Life, 
The Opposite of Faith, Memories of a Writing Life I haven't read, The Good Soldier I haven't read, Henry V I haven't read, The Collected Stories, no, another Don Powell collection of essays, nope, The Children's Hour, no, The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test, nope, Sophie's Choice, no. The Dirt Confessions of the World's Most Notorious Rock Band, no. The Bhagavad Gita, have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, have not read it. The Completed Poems of Anne Sexton, no. Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption, no. Ethan Fromm, no. Emily the Strange, no. Bambi? No, I feel like maybe as a kid, but it's not checked off here on Goodreads, so probably not. A Menchken Crestomacy? No. The Mysteries of Udolfo? No. Terms of Endearment? No. Love Medicine? No. House of Sand and Fog? No. Cousin Bet? No. Or is it Cousin Betty? Do you pronounce the E at the end? Either way, I haven't read it. Savage Beauty, The Life of Edna St. Vincent Millay, no. Driving Miss Daisy, no. The Manticore, no. Shane, no. Hockey for Dummies, no. A Movable Feast, no. Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them, A Fair and Balanced Look at the Right, nope. The Art of Fiction, no. To Have and Have Not, no. Wild, From Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail, sounds very interesting. My Lay 4, A Report on the Massacre and Its Aftermath, nope. Complete Stories by Dorothy Parker, no. Backlash, The Undeclared War Against American Women, haven't read. Henry the Fourth Part two haven't read the piece of nicias and the sicilian expedition no selected letters of don powell again no the scarecrow of oz no again would love to read the oz series the arcadamian war nope finnegan's wake no the vanishing newspaper saving journalism in the information age no brigadoon no the History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman, no. Pigs at the Troth, How Corporate Greed and Political Corruption Are Undermining America, nope. George W. Bush-isms, The Slate Book of Accidental Wit and Wisdom of Our 43rd President, no, but sounds actually pretty funny. Brick Lane, no. Damselfly, no. Roman Fever, no. The Price of Loyalty, George W. Bush, The White House, and The Education of Paul O'Neill, no. Inherit the Wind, no. The Song of Names, no. The Mojo Collection, The Ultimate Music Companion, nope. The Crimson Petal and the White, no. Robert's Rules of Order, I have had to reference a lot <laughs> during um, my student government association days. However, I have never, like, fully read through them, so I, I don't know, I would maybe consider this read or more so just like skimmed through and familiar with it. Speak Memory, nope. My Life as Author and Editor, no. The Last Empire Essays by Gore Vidal, no. Polysyllabic Spree, nope. The Snows of Kilimanjaro and Other Stories by Ernest Hemingway. I have visited the Hemingway house on a family vacation once, but I've never read anything by Hemingway. Goldilocks and Three Bears, Bears Should Share, no. The New Way Things Work, no. The Little Locksmith, no. Babe the Gallant Pig, no. Bitch in Praise of Difficult Women, no. Train Spotting, nope. Old School, no. Sanctuary. Bambi again. I have a feeling it's more so this chapter book that was being referenced and less so the little kids kind of um, picture book. Howl and Other Poems, no. A Bolt from the Blue and Other Essays, no. Gidget, nope. Sonnets from the Portuguese, no. Mutiny on the Bounty, no. Property, nope. 
Fodor's Selected Hotels of Europe. This must have been from their traveling episodes. <laughs> the Collected Works of Grey Owl, no. The Merry Wives of Windsor, no. Secrets of the Flesh, A Life of Colette, nope. Ethics, no. A Month of Sundays, Searching for the Spirit and My Sister, no. Rick Steves, Europe Through the Back Door, definitely from the Europe trip season. The True and Outstanding Adventures of the Hunt Sisters, nope. Truth and Beauty, no. My Life in Orange, no. Iron Reed, nope. Mira Waldo's Travel and Monitoring Guide to Europe, no. Split Rock, nope. The prophecy, the girl will be born of two foes, created to conquer and devastate the lands. They will all fall? Nope. The cruiser sonata? Nope. Written in blood? No. A monetary history of the United States from 1867 to 1960? Nope. Social origins of dictatorship and democracy? Lord and peasant in the making of the modern world? No. All the President's Men, no. Galapagos, no. The Amazing Adventures of Calavir and Clay, wasn't that earlier on the list? Train Spotting, nope. Swimming with Giants, My Encounters with Whales, Dolphins, and Seals, no, but it does sound interesting. The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie. <laughs> the Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, I did read that and I prefer the Netflix show, to be honest. Consider the lobster and other essays? Nope. Unless? No. This is water. Some thoughts delivered on significant occasion about living a compassionate life? No. Uh, Taye the Dairyman and the Railroad Stories? Nope. The Norton Anthology of Theory and Criticism? No. Time and Again? No. My Struggle, Book One? No. Autobiography of a Face? No. Eleanor Roosevelt, Volume 1? Nope. And Volume 2? Also no. The Song Reader? No. Oracle Knight? No. The Fortress of Solitude? No. Monsieur Proust? No. The Outbreak of the Peloponnesian War? No. The Bielski Brothers? Nope. It Takes a Village and Other Lessons Children Teach Us? No. The Meaning of Consuelo? No. Quattro Centro? No. Fletch? No. Henry IV Part One, No. Velvet Undergrounds, The Velvet Underground and Nico? No. Rescuing Patty Hearst, Growing Up a Sane in a Decade Gone Mad? No. The Fall of the Athean Empire? No. Song of the Simple Truth, The Complete Poems of Julia de Burgos, no. We Owe You Nothing, Punk Planet, The Collected Interviews, no. What Color Is Your Parachute, A Practical Manual for Job Hunters and Career Changers, I feel like I need that book. The Portable Nights, not sure how to say that, have not read it. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, no. How the Light Gets In, no. A Comedy of Errors, no. Dini, no. A Quiet Storm, no. Just a Couple of Days, no. Lisa and David, no. The Legend of Bagger Vance, a novel of golf and the game of life, no. Marathon Man, nope. The Rough Guide to Europe 2005, no. Sacred Time, no. Small Island, no. The Wit and Wisdom of Winston Churchill, no. The Last Lion, nope. <laughs> Um, there seems to be multiple of those on here. I have not read any of them. The Memoirs of General W.T. Sherman. Nope. Sexist. Nope. Fiddler on the Roof. I have not read. However, um, I've sung many a song from it and seen the movie thanks to Middle School Choir. Here Was a Man, no. More Tales to Chill Your Bones, Scary Stories, number three. I have read this. This was a very popular book at slumber parties when I was a kid. <laughs> Extravagance, I have not read. Fatland, I have not read. And the last one is one that I cannot pronounce correctly. Moliere, a biography, and I have not read that one. That was a lot of books. 
my voice kind of hurts from talking so much and just reading through the names. So there are definitely a lot of books from the Rory Gilmore reading list that I have not read. However, I am pretty proud of the number I have read. Let's count it up real quick. So I've read 31 out of, I think, the over 300 books on this list, which mm, is what, like, less than 10%. So I guess if I want to read like Rory, I have a long way to go. However, I'm kind of proud of the amount that I have read. Let me know if you have read some of these books, if you recommend any of the ones on the list that I have not read, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!